solve math story problems every day. Rarely do you ever come across a math problem in your everyday life that isn't a story problem. We don't just learn math because numbers are fun. We learn math to help us find answers and solve real life problems as well. Math isn't just about memorizing facts and strategies. It's about thinking and using those strategies. There are about five main types of story problems, but I will focus on four. One type is called joining problems. That's when you add or join numbers together. Here's an example of a joining problem. This is Mrs. Gary's dog, Gunner. Gunner had four toys. Mrs. Gary gave him three more. How many toys does Gunner have now? We have to find out how many toys Gunner has now. Mrs. Gary added three toys to his four toys. This means we have to join four and three. Four plus three. Four plus three equals seven. Gunner now has seven toys. Another type is called separating problems. That's when you subtract or separate numbers. Now let's try a separating problem. Mrs. Gary had a bag of seven treats. Gunner ate two treats when Mrs. Gary was not watching. How many treats are left in the bag? We need to find out how much is left. The word left is a key word that tells us something was taken away or separated, and we will most likely need to subtract. There were seven treats in the bag, and Gunner took away two of them. Seven minus two equals five. There are five treats left in the bag. Another type of story problem involves part, part, whole. We reviewed this concept in a previous lesson. Let's try one of these types of story problems. Gunner ate three treats this morning. He was a good boy and had two more treats in the afternoon. How many treats did he eat all together? I know that the story problem is asking how many total treats Gunner ate. Together is a key word that tells us we will most likely need to add. I know that Gunner had part of his snack, three treats, in the morning. He then ate the second part, two more, in the afternoon. To solve, I will need to add three and two. Three plus two equals five treats. Our whole is five. Gunner ate five treats today. One last type of story problem is a comparing problem. That's when you have to compare numbers. These are typically subtraction problems. Gunner had six toys to play with. Mrs. Gary had four. How many more toys does Gunner have than Mrs. Gary? We need to compare the amount of toys Gunner has to the amount Mrs. Gary has. Gunner has six, Mrs. Gary has four. We need to find the difference to solve. Six minus four. I like to draw a picture or line up the objects to find the difference. Solve on your own this time. Press pause to give yourself time to think. When I look at the picture, I see that Gunner has two more. 6 minus 4 equals 2. Gunner has two more toys than Mrs. Gary. Lucky dog. Check out the links below for more practice. Soon, story problems will no longer be a problem.